Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, S-Boss here. Uh, just picked up a box of Modern Masters 2015. Those of you that don't play Magic the Gathering, this is a hotly anticipated set uh, that I picked up for below MSRP. I believe these go for 240 and I picked it up at my local uh, game store for about 200 bucks. And in case you're interested, I'm not trying to plug them or anything, but this is the comic book store located uh, in Glassboro. Very nice owners. Uh, they really do a lot for their customers. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's open up this box. So cards that I'm looking for in this set uh, would be Elish Norn, Iona, and Kozilek to finish out my EDH deck. And of course, for value, like everybody else, I am looking for a Tarmogoyf. So let's get this box opened up. And I believe this should be a tip card for successfully drafting Modern Masters because this is a draftable set. Uh, all of the articles I've seen online said to not simply crack the box open uh, for value, but that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So in this set comes in 24 packs as opposed to the normal 36 when you buy booster boxes. And this is also the first set where Wizards is testing out the new packaging where uh, the packs here are 100% recyclable made of, I believe it's recycled cardboard paper, uh, which is pretty cool. Also really interesting in this set, uh, which I saw yesterday before the set was officially released in America, um, apparently these are really easy to tamper with and to like crack open packs without actually like breaking the seal here and sneaking in other cards. So testing it, oh shit, that's the phone. Anyway, um, testing it right now. Um, unless you use some sort of exacto knife to actually break the seal here. This is actually glued down It doesn't seem like that's actually going to be possible. But anyway, let's open up the first pack here so with the first pack I'm going to Go through the commons and then every subsequent pack I'll just go straight through the uncommons and the rares because I assume those of you that are watching this That's what you're gonna be interested in. So if I were to refocus the camera here. There we go uh, You have your tip card here uh Pretty much useless. Okay, so we have Kozilek's Predator, Copper Carapace, Vampire Lacerator, Steady Progress, Sky Hunter Skirmisher, Ghostly Changeling, Thrive, Goblin Fireslinger, Sickle Slicer, Frogmite, and now we get into the Uncommons. We have Reassembling Skeleton. Oh, Electrolyze, perfect. That's actually not a bad Uncommon. Air Servant and the first rare. <laughs> Which I was actually anticipating for some reason is Niv Mizzet the Firemind, a great EDH card if you're playing blue red. Uh, anyway, okay, first rare is, or first foil rather is Raise the Alarm. If you're not familiar with uh, the Modern Masters sets, um, every pack includes a foil card, which is awesome. Okay, second pack. We're gonna go straight to the uncommons here. So, do, 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 do. Okay, we have. A Cumulox, Devouring Greed, Mole Drifter, and the rare Ghost Council of Orzava. And the foil is a Goblin War Paint. Okay, not too bad. So, with the 24 packs, the Mythics, I believe, come in once every eight packs or so. So, we should be expecting, on average, about three Mythic cards. Uh, more or less. So let's go straight to the uncommons here. We have a Stormblood Berserker, Deathmark, really cool artwork, Oblivion Ring, also very good, and Wolfbriar Elemental. Okay, and the foil is a Steady Progress. Alrighty, put that over here. Next pack, open her up, see what we got. Go to the uncommons. Okay, we have Vampire Outcasts, Combust, pretty good card, although uh, Rending Volley, which came out in I think Dragons of Tarkir is kind of <laughs> a little bit better than this. Uh, Dismember and the rare, yes! <laughs> we have a Cryptic Command, perfect. Okay, so this box actually is looking pretty good so far. And the foil is a Mutagenic Growth, awesome. Perfect for Infect decks, alrighty. So we're actually off to not a bad start. Okay, open up the next pack. Here we go. Get this out of the way. I'm just throwing this on the floor. I don't give a rat's behind. Anyway, 
Uh, let's go to the... Oh, wait for his bobble. Good card for EDH if you want to ramp. Uh, another mutagenic growth. Awesome. Culling days. Dies days. Uh, wrecking ball. And the rare is... Ah, Sunforger. Oh, well. And the foil is a tumble magnet. There we go. Okay. Sunforger, not fantastic, but I will take it. And the mutagenic growth will go over there. Okay. All right. Next pack. There we go. Get the cardboard out of here. Go to the uncommons. We have a dispatch. Is it Boilerworks? Cool. Ooh, lightning bolt. Awesome. That goes over here. And ooh, daybreak coronet. Nice. That's also value right here. It's about, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. That's awesome. And the foil. <gasps> Holy shit. That's a foil Ulamog, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, so that is our foil mythic. And the great thing is that does not take up one of the mythic slots because that is a foil card. Holy cow. Look at how beautiful this card is. Also, I love the foiling done in Modern Masters 2015. Oh, that is beautiful. Let me just focus in on this sucker for you. Look at how beautiful that is. That is going to be the thumbnail for this video. Okay. Daybreak Cornet. Wow, we seriously got our money in that pack. Oh my god. Okay, so you go over here. Okay, next pack. Oh man, I'm excited now. Waiting for that goif, baby. Okay, go to the uncommons here. We have a Cytoplast Rootkin, a Palaka Worm, Glass Dust Hulk, and Noblesse of War. And the foil is a Fortify. Very pretty. Okay. Actually, no, the Ulamog, you're, you're gonna go over in your special pile, pile, pile here. Okay, Noblesse of War, you go over there. We have the foils right here. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. That just made the whole pack worth it. Okay. Now I just need all the other value rares and mythics. Okay. So let's say go to the uncommons here. We have a celestial purge. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, baby. We got our first awesome uncommon. We got a remand. Uh, arguably the one uncommon that everybody in the set is hoping for. Uh, next, we have a restless apparition and the rare. Ah, wildfire. And the foil is a Kavu Primarch. Primarch, Primarch, Prim Primarch, Primarch. And there's the wildfire. Not great, but hey, we got a remand. So that will go in the awesome uncommon pile. Okay. Remand's worth about, what, 12 bucks or something? The original one was about 15, the Ravnica version, if I remember correctly. It's probably worth more now, though. Go to the, oh, we got a mana leak, awesome. Um, and a Vapor Snag. That's also pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uncommons. We have a Carpluzen Strider. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the viewfinder as well as the actual card itself. Rakdos Carnarium, Hearthfire Goblin, and oh my f Holy cow! That's a Tarmogoyf, baby! <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh my god, my brother's here. He can't believe it either. And the rare, or the foil rather, Sundering Vitae. No two Tarmogoyfs in one pack. Oh man. That is a goyf, baby. Mm. <laughs> Let me get my sleeves here. I gotta sleeve okay. these good cards up. Okay, so I'm gonna sleeve up this goyf. And I'm gonna sleeve up this f fudging foil ulamog. Oh man. Well, that paid for the whole box. These two cards alone paid for more than the box because I paid for two. I paid two hundred for these. Man, that is going to be my new thumbnail. Oh my god, wonderful! You are going to go in the special pile again. Okay, <sighs> next pack. Wonderful. If any of you guys are wondering what this ridiculously uh, uh, sick ass playmat is, it's a uh, it's a band. It's a, a, not an album cover, but it's like alternative art for one of their covers. It's Mass of the Fermenting Dregs. Um, go check them out. It's good music. Okay. Again, not trying to plug them, but it is good stuff. Okay. Uncommons. We have a Mearsmith, Boros Swiftblade, Orzov Bas Basalic Basilica, and the rare... Oh my god! We got a Leyline of Sanctity, baby! And the rare or foil is a Gorhorn Minotaurs. There we go. Leyline of Sanctity. All right. That's value, that's money. Okay, foil goes there. Other cards here. Man, I am ecstatic right now. Okay, next pack, what do we got? Tip card, okay. 
Um, go straight to the on. Oh, smash the smithereens. Good card. If I were to have a foil common, it would either be like a foil mana leak, a foil vapor snag, or a foil smash the smithereens. That's worth a few bucks. Okay. Uncommons, we have a Scargon Firebird. We have Eldrazi Temple. Yeah, that's not bad. We have Pillory of the Sleepless, and our rare is, oh, All Sun's Dawn. There we go. That's a few bucks. Not quite value, but I love the artwork on this. Okay. And the foil, ooh, a Shrewd Hatchling. Very pretty. Okay. There we go. Eldrazi Temple, you can go in the cool pile if you want to. I don't judge, although you are worth less than a remand. Okay. Man, I should have picked up two boxes. Holy cow, I can go back to the store, pick up another box. Okay, um, I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna test my luck. Um, we have, for the uncommons, Overwhelm, Culling Days. Again, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce days. Um, Hearthfire Goblin, Hobgoblin, and the rare is Etched Champion. That's all right, it's about four bucks. And the foil is an arrest. There we go. Etched champion, not too bad. There we go. Let's see, how far are we? Four, eight, 12. We are halfway done this box and we certainly got our value already. We are, and we are expecting at least, or not at least, but about two more mythics in this box. Okay, go to the uncommons. Do, 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 do. We have a flash freeze. Again, I love the art on this card. I'm kind of an art snob. <laughs> uh, those of you that don't know what Elishnorn is, I'll post a picture right here. That is the favorite artwork uh, of mine in the entire set of Magic. Uh, Spite Bellows, Ventual Rebirth, and the rare is a Guile. <laughs> oh well. Rare, or foil rather, Aloe Mirror. Again, very nice foiling. I really like that. Okay, so Guile, you can go there. Again, flash freeze, very cool art. Okay, next pack. Hoping for that noble hierarch. Okay. Go to the uncommons, another smash. Dark Steel Citadel, that's cool. Not worth much, but pretty cool nonetheless. Okay, we have a Dagger Claw Imp, Selesnia Guild Mage, Mortar Pod, and the rare, ah, Hellcake Charger, that's okay. And the foil is a Narcolepsy. There we go. Okay, cool. And probably these aren't worth much. Anyway, next pack. Open her up. I really like these packs. I don't care if you can tamper with it. It's probably just a defective pack uh, like that video that was going around the internet. Um, let's go to the uncommons. We have a Water Servant. Artisan of Kozilek. That's pretty cool. Savage Twister. And the rare is Argent Sphinx. Meh, that's all right. And the foil is a ooh, thought cast. Very cool art. Affinity for artifacts and draw two cards. Pretty cool. Urgent Sphinx, you go there. And I'm going to put the Artisan of Kozilek in the cool pile, just because I like the artwork. Any of the Eldrazi cards are pretty sweet artwork. Like Ulamog, for example. Do you guys remember my foil Ulamog? Too bad it can't go in my EDH deck. I would rather, much rather have a Kozilek. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, we have another Water Servant for our first in common. We have Eldrazi Temple again. Lore Scale Coral, Codal. Codal? And the rare is, oh baby! Holy cow, that is one of the more valuable mythics out there, Mox Opal. Um, what is it, 40 bucks or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, the foil is Gust Skimmer. Alrighty. Beautiful, okay. We certainly got our values worth out of this box. I could just stop here, call it a day, but we're gonna keep going, because I love you guys. Okay, Sign of the Wild uh, is pretty interesting. This was actually a rare uh, back when it was originally printed, and then they brought it all the way down to a common, which is unheard of. Anyway, um, first uncommon we have is a Tajnar Sword Myth, Incandescent Soul Stroke, Simic Growth Chamber, pretty cool, and the rare is a Necro Skitter. That's a few bucks, that's not too bad. Okay, and the foil, Thief of Hope. This is a really good draft card, so... I like the foiling on that. Okay, Necro Skitter, you go over there. And the Bounce Lands probably aren't worth much, if anything, so... Unless it's a foil Bounce Land, like a foil is Boiler Works or something. I see no point in um, not putting it in the huge pile over here. Okay, go to the Uncommons. 
Dark Steel Citadel. Okay, we have an Azorius Chancery, Demir Guildmage, Etched Oracle, and the rare is... Oh my god! Vendillion Click. Awesome. That's uh, very valuable, about 50 bucks. Okay, perfect. And the foil is... Oh, baby! That's a foil lightning bolt. If I had to pick a foil uncommon and it wasn't remand, it would probably be lightning bolt. All right. Vendillion Click, you go over there. And we still got six packs left. Sweet. Maybe get that Noble Hierarch or what other value rares are there? Wiltleaf uh, Siege. You also got uh, uh, Fulminator Mage, I think it's called. Anyway. Um, uncommons. We have Bloodshot Training, Gruel Turf, Demir Guild Mage again, and the rare is a Blink Moth Nexus. All right. Perfect for any affinity deck. And the foil is a ooh, Water Servant. That is our third Water Servant in this box. Awesome. And Blink Moth. There you go. So pretty. Okay. Five packs left. And there we go. Mm, on the floor you go. I'll pick it up later, don't worry. Uh, let's see. Rootkin Ally is our first uncommon. Then we have a Core Duelist. Rakdos Carnarium. And the rare Long Forgotten Gohei. Well, I like the name and the artwork is pretty sweet. Um, other than that, I don't know much more about it. Anyway, foil is a Blades of Velus Vel. Okie dokie. There we go. And Long Forgotten Gohei, you go there. I'll go through all the rares and uh, mythics later uh, when, when this video is over. Okay. Over there you go. Okay. To the uncommons we go. A oh, plummet's a good card. In a sideboard. We have Boros Garrison, Everflowing Chalice, Agony Warp, and Puppeteer Click. There you go. And the foil is a Bloodthrown Vampire. More good artwork. Okay. Uh, next pack. What do we got? These are much easier to open than the traditional packs. I'm usually pretty crappy when it comes to opening those packs. Um, tearing them every which way, and then it ends up looking all messed up. Hikari Twilight Guardian. Agony Warp. Cranial, oh, cranial Plating's good. And the rare is a Battle Grace Angel. There you go. And the foil, Inexorable Tide. Oh, that's a foil rare. We got two foil, what? Two foil rares. Well, this one isn't that great, but I'll take it, whatever. Battle Grace Angel and Cranial Plating, you can go over there. Okay, we are down to just two packs. Second to last one, what do we get? Okay. Do, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uncommons, we have a Scavenger Drake. Lore Scale Codal, Palaka Worm, and an Overwhelming Stampede. Okie dokie. And the foil is, oh yeah! Just like I was saying, foil is a boiler works. That's a few bucks probably. Alright, cool. These are probably not worth anything. Okay. And down to the last pack. We didn't get a whole lot of value rares like I was hoping for, um, of course, the Noble Hierarch and a couple other cards that I was looking for, but uh, oh well. Never did, did not get the Elish nor the Iona or the Kozilek, but I got a Tarmogoyf. I, I really can't complain here. I really cannot. Okay. Last pack. Oh, it's so sad. Our time together is almost over. We have a World Heart Phoenix, Tezzeret's Gambit, Boros Swiftblade, and the final rare is a Swans of Bryn Argal. Well, at least I like the artwork. Okay. And the last foil is a Thrive. Okay. So, to recap. The two value <laughs> cards that I got in the set would be a Foil Ulamog and a Tarmogoyf, of course, and then all the other rares that we have in the set, uh, Swans, Overwhelming Stampede, Battle Grace Angel, Inexorable Tide, Foil, Puppeteer Click, Long Forgotten Go, Hey, Blink Moth Nexus, Vendillion Click, Necro Skitter, Mox, Opal, Argent Sphinx, Hellkite Charger, Guile, Etched Champion, All Suns Dawn, Leyland of Sanctity, Wildfire, Noblest of War, Daybreak, Coronet, that's worth something, Sunforger, Cryptic Command, I like the new bullet points. It makes it a lot easier to figure out what in the world Cryptic Command does. Uh, Wolfbriar Elemental and Ghost Council of Rosava and a Niv Miss at the Firemind. Anyway, so thank I, I want to thank all of you for going on this journey with me. That ends this video just under 20 minutes. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you back here next time.